There was once a velveting rabbit, and in the beginning, she was really splendid. She was fat and bunchy, her coat was smooth and shiny, as a rabbit should be. On Christmas morning, when she sat at the bottom of the Christmas tree, she was beautiful, as beautiful can be. There were other toys underneath the Christmas tree. There were some dolls, toy soldiers, books, and a lion. On Christmas morning, the little girl opened up all the presents. She loved the velveteen rabbit most of all. At the end of the day, however, all the toys would be put back into the toy box. At night, the rabbit would feel very lonely. She was naturally shy and being only made of velveteen, some of the more expensive toys quite snubbed her. The other toys were very superior and looked down upon everyone else. They were full of modern ideas and pretended they were real. This is a good workout, fuel my muscles. Ooh, ooh. I've been working on my sit-ups. 65 in two minutes. My abs are the best in any nursery. Well, I definitely need some new outfits for next season. I've been wearing this ever since I arrived here. Same here. We should be able to complain about this. It's just not fair. We should start a complaint book. Here, here. That is why kids nowadays do not know how to play with us toys. All they know how to do is stay in front of screens. So fed up. Only one other toy in the toy box was nice to Velveting Rabbit, Wise Old Cat. Wise Old Cat was also a soft fluffy toy. She was very old, but very wise, and knew how nursery magic worked. Soft toys like us are really the lucky ones. We get loved the most, and when we get loved and loved, we can become real. What is real? Being real is the best. You can move when you want to move. When you are real, if you are loved, you can show your love back. I suppose you are real. The girl's uncle made me real. Now that was a great many years ago. But once you are real, you can't become unreal again. It lasts for always. The rabbit sighed. She thought it would be a long time till this magic called real happened to her. The girl had not played with her in such a long time and now preferred to play with the other modern toys. One evening, when the girl was going to bed, she couldn't find the china dog that always slept with her. Her nana was in a hurry and it was too much trouble to hunt for china dogs at bedtime. So she simply looked about her and made a swoop. So nana dragged the rabbit out by one ear and put her into the girl's arms. This began another happy time for Velveting Rabbit. Each night, the girl would hold Velveting Rabbit close in her arms. In the morning, the girl would show Velveting Rabbit how to make rabbit holes under the sheet. If the girl went outside to a picnic or to the park, Velveting Rabbit would come with her too. After a while, with the hugging and holding, much of Velveting Rabbit's fur got matted down. Its pink nose grew less pink with all the girls' kisses, but Velveteen Rabbit did not care. It was happy. Near the house where they lived, there was a wood, and the girl liked to go there after tea to play. One evening, when while the rabbit was lying there alone, she saw a strange being creep out of the bush. It was like a rabbit herself, but it was quite furry and brand new. It must have been very well made, for its seams didn't show at all, and it changed shape in a strange way when it moved. Why don't you get up and play with me? I don't feel like it. Can you hop on your hind legs? I don't want to. You haven't got any. I have. I have got hind legs. I'm sitting on them. You don't smell right. You're not a rabbit at all. Come back and play with me. Oh, do come back. 
One day, the, the girl became sick. Her forehead got very hot. The doctor came and went. Nana walked back and forth in fear. Day after day, the girl stayed in bed. There was nothing for Velveteen Rabbit to do but stay in bed too, day after day. At last, the girl got better. Such joy in the house. <laughs> and the doctor said, You are all better now. I think it will be a really good idea for you to spend the day at the sea. The nice fresh sea air will clear all the germs away. How wonderful. Thank you, Doctor. But what about the old bunny? That old thing is full of scarlet fever germs. Burn it at once. Get her a new bunny. So Velveteen Rabbit was carried to the backyard. That night, it started to rain. Velveteen Rabbit was so sad, so far away from the girl, never again to be nice and cozy together, and that soaking wet. A tear fell from Velveteen Rabbit's eye all over her cheek. It plopped onto the grass. All at once, the moment the tear fell onto the ground, fairies started to appear. Little Rabbit, you know who we are. I wish I did. We are the fairies that take care of toys, but are well loved. It's time now for me to make you real. I think I remember real. Now, what was it that old wise cat had said? Ah yes, when you, you are real, you can move when you want to move. If you are loved, you can love back. With one touch of the fairy's wand, Velveteen Rabbit felt different, tickly. A fly landed on Velveteen Rabbit's head, and it was itchy. As quick as a wink, that foot was up there to scratch it off. So this is being real. I can move when I want to move. I will show you a new friend. Hello. You must be very kind to her and teach her all she needs to know in Rabbit Land, for she is going to live with you forever and ever. Run and play, little rabbits. Time went by. One day the girl went to play in the back garden. From the trees nearby, two rabbits hopped out. One hopped closest to the girl. Why? This rabbit looks like my old bunny that got lost when I was sick. I love that bunny. What she didn't know, that it was her very own bunny to come back to the girl. For she was the reason Velveteen Rabbit had become real. Real! 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 real. real.